Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna talk about intakes, especially of about one and that's this one. It's the Sprint filter intake. Don't know if you heard of it. I just got it, I think yesterday. And it looks absolutely amazing. <laughs> it really is. That's, by the way, the second part of it. And you get it with two air filters. One is just stated as an air filter and the other one is for demanding conditions, whatever that is. But we're gonna talk about these two and the differences of these two in a minute. So let's just break it down a little bit. This one actually replaces the complete intake system of the standard GR Yaris. It also has all the necessary parts for all the sensors that are needed. And we're gonna take a look at how good it fits in just a couple of minutes. I think it will take maybe an hour to change, maybe less if you're uh, when you're faster or when you when you're used to do it. They say it generates about 10, 15 horsepower around that. We're gonna find that out in a couple of weeks. We're gonna put it on the dyno with this intake and another intake from Arma Speed, Arma Speed. We should get the one from Arma Speed, I think next week is, I think it's scheduled for next week. So we're gonna dyno the car with the stock intake and the HJS downpipe and the DTUK version two box. And just, just take a look at if these intakes bring actually any power. I hope they do. I hope at least for the price they should do. One or two things that made me buy these instead of the Eventuri. One of it, it's not the price because they're basically the same price. I think a few euros less or more, but they're basically the same price. But when I saw the fitment of this one, I hope it fits as well as I'm stating right now. <laughs> but the fitment was spot on and I really liked the the way they designed it with all the small things like this one that clips into the standard clips which holds it in place i don't know if they if it generates any power but that's a, a thing for in a few weeks but i really liked the design of it and i think it's one of the best designs there is i don't know the eventuri i don't have one so I can talk about this, but this one is absolutely spot on. And we're gonna put it in and see what it does. Two different air filters. So why is this? I don't know if you can see the, the difference on the video. The one for the demanding conditions is a little bit more white-ish. Um, I think that that's just because it ha has a little bit more paper that's better for filtration and also um, bad for airflow. So you get this sheet with it. The one on the, the big ones here is just airflow. And as you can see, that's the one, the standard air filter. And this one, the little red one is here, is the one for demanding conditions. It has, I think, close to 5,000 and the other one has 16,000. So three times better airflow, which means filtration rate won't be as good as with the other one. We might check even these two, if they have any power differences. I don't know, I think, or I could imagine that the one with the better filtration and less airflow will also have less power, but will be better in the long term for the engine. And now we're gonna install this and let's see how long it takes. Let's go.
And this is how it looks installed. It actually fits quite nicely and everything is up, is tight. And I like some small details like this one where you can reuse the clips. Also the sensor fits very nicely. Installation time, if you have it done once or twice, I think 30 minutes, if not, you may take an hour or so. But everything fits up quite nicely. I just made a quick test drive and it sounds like a proper rally car. <laughs> it's too much for, for the streets in Switzerland. So I'm gonna pull it out and take back in the original one. So yeah, but it does fit. How much power it will bring, I don't know. We'll see that in a couple of weeks. It doesn't have any fault codes or anything. I just checked this. That's why I made a quick test drive. 30 minutes if you have done it already. So that's it. And I'm gonna, I have to show you some uh, sound clips in the next video. I'm sorry for that. So I have to show you this when we're on the dyno because then it will sound like a proper rally car. It sounds great, actually. There are, I think there are some sound clips on YouTube. Just Google for a Sprint Filter, C-Tech intake. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>